Now here's a rare sight. Lane Williams actually sitting down and enjoying a quick lunch. You, you have a set time when you eat, right? Yeah, it's uh, typically between 11 and 4. <laughs> As the Senior Director of Rules and Competitions for the Georgia State Golf Association, Lane is a fixture at tournaments across the state. But he is also in demand for national events, like here at the 2015 East Lake Cup for the top men's and women's collegiate teams, where Lane was head of rules. I think you've seen everything, and as soon as you say that, something pops up you've never seen before, and you say, you got to be kidding me. Lane really enjoys what he does, and people enjoy working with him. And he is one of the most respected rules officials in the country. That reputation has led to Lane's service on 60 USGA championships, including 14 US Opens, and hundreds of other competitions on the state, national, and international level. Where are you? Fellow Hall of Fame member Gene McClure says Lane has an amazing effect on other people. McClure has witnessed firsthand Lane's ability to make tournaments run smoothly and diffuse even challenging situations. This player was furious and all around the course he mouthed at everybody. Lane met the player at the scoring table before the player turned in his scorecard and they had a little chat about the situation. And at the end of the time, the player and Lane were laughing slapping each other on the back and shaking hands. That Lane has a very special ability to understand the player's perspective and he gets the result that he needs by working with them in a positive way. I mean, I've known Lane since I was probably eight years old, seven years old, um, and to this day, I'll, I'll just never forget him and his face and his dedication, his commitment to junior golf and to what uh, he meant to the GSGA. Lane started playing golf with his dad in Moultrie, Georgia. He liked the game, played on a good high school team, and even met golf legend Gary Player. Then it was on to LaGrange College, where he was part of the school's first golf program. While at LaGrange, he competed against fellow Hall of Fame class member James Mason, who played for Auburn. Yeah, he carried himself very well, and uh, it was just, it was fun competing. I mean, we both were trying to beat each other. After college, Lane worked as a carpet salesman, managed a sporting goods store, and continued to play golf, especially with his good friend and Georgia Golf Hall of Fame member, Alan Doyle. The two often teamed up to take on anybody who wanted a game. Again, I always got Lane, and I never needed much help from him. Yeah, you know, he's a lot, lot like me. He was unique and odd, I guess, you know, whatever word you want to use. Doyle has always enjoyed ribbing Lane a little, and he also enjoyed recommending Lane for a position with the GSGA in 1987. I, I called Steve Moner up one morning. I was on the board of directors of the GSGA, and he said, we're going to get a tournament director slash rules. And I called him the next morning. I said, I think I may have the guy for you. I think I may have the perfect guy for you. So I was hired to run the golf tournaments, and I had no clue what I was doing. Lane learned quickly, thanks to help from some of the state's most respected golf leaders, like Billy Peters, Pete Cox, Wendell Couch, Gene McClure, and Alan Doyle, all Hall of Fame members. You know, they were volunteers, and they were doing this for the love of the game. And they taught me what that meant, and, and that's what made the job fun. In addition to running golf tournaments, Lane has also conducted numerous seminars on the rules of golf, written articles for magazines like Golf Georgia, and has provided invaluable assistance to other golf organizations. I remember when the USGA years ago wanted to begin putting out a manual to its qualifying officials on suggestions on how to conduct a USGA qualifying event in their local area. One of the first things they did was they copied Lane Williams' forms and his checklist. Lane is married to Teresa, and the two have enjoyed all the trips and fun associated with his job. He says she's a pretty good golfer, but he has never issued a ruling on her. I, you think I'd do that? There's no way. Lane definitely has the wisdom and skills to deal with all types of players. He's also witnessed changes with the game, like players who hit it longer with better equipment, playing on courses with improved agronomy. But in terms of rules, he says not a whole lot has changed. 
the things that, that the game depend on, I go back to etiquette, I go back to integrity. That's always going to be part of this game, and that's never going to change. One thing that doesn't change for Lane is the fun of the game. So the only way you stay unbeaten is you late in life you don't play anybody. <laughs> On this particular day, Blaine is back on his home course, Pine Tree Country Club in Marietta, for a friendly competition with Alan Doyle, James Mason, and Executive Director of the GSGA, Matt Williams. Blaine, have they been playing by the rules? Uh, the, everything has been absolutely yeah. perfect. As long as we're up, everything's yeah. hunky dory. As long as we're up, if we get behind, look out. But as long as we're up, everything's fine. Lane has friends everywhere in the world of golf whether it's on his home course or at one of the many tournaments he works. We're all part of a big family and, uh, and we look out for each other and take care of each other because we've all got one goal and that's to make the game as good as it can be. Uh, good for anybody that tries to play this game.